there. And what we're going to do is go over some of the oils that you will get at the beginning. Now, the new kit has come with a new set of oils. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to show this one, okay, because what there is also is going to be what's called flex oils. Sometimes there's going to be replacements made in your starter kit with oils that are, um, if there's an oil that is not in stock anymore, it can be replaced with one of the flex oils. So, usually you will see lavender, peppermint, frankincense, lemon, copaiba, you can if you'd like, thieves, pan away, RC, purification, Dye guys, potentially tea tree, aroma ease, lemongrass. It's not that hard, love. It's just a simple little twist like that. And orange. So the best ways to use this, just so that you know, you, you, you may be brand new to essential oils, and in particular, Young Living essential oils. A couple of the common questions or um, misunderstandings that I get right from the beginning is, the key thing to know is you don't want to heat these oils in any way, you know, those old-fashioned oil burners where you put a bit of oil and then you put a candle underneath and it puts the scent into the air. You don't want to do that with these oils. These are therapeutic grade essential oils and if you heat them up it changes the, the chemical structure of the therapeutic grade essential oil and therefore you can't be guaranteed to get the same benefits and... Yeah, it, it, there we go. Just gently, gently. So the easiest way is actually the diffuser that comes right with the kit. And what you do, you can see inside there's a little red marker. Do you see that, Nate? Yeah. So you're going to fill the water up to that red marker. And preferably distilled water that is, is not too hard. I find that the hard water, cal cal you know, the mineralizes and, and does interfere a bit with the diffuser. But cold water, you just fill it up to there. And then you'd simply pick whatever oil that... Um, if you'd like to diffuse, you'd like to get the benefits of, you put three to four drops is what I usually use. In there, you just open this up, drop a few drops in, plug it in, and there are two settings on the diffuser. The button is right there at the front, and when you press it once, a light comes on, so it can be used as a night little, nice little night light. And, uh, yes, yeah. and then when you press it a second time, it still stays on, but the light goes off. So this is the, I would say, the number one easiest way to get started right away is use it in your diffuser. The other easiest way to do it is uh, to use it, uh, air, you know, the, the scent. All you have to do simply is open up the bottle and you can smell it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Take deep inhalations and really, you know, get the scent. You broke the robot's head. And um, usually I, I do recommend when you're new to them to start low when you're sniffing, especially things like peppermint. Peppermint is uh, a fairly strong smell or scent. And uh, so you don't want to start right off there. And whew, it, it's a wonderful scent, but... Um, it does take some getting used to as far as strength. So you don't want to go overboard. Just take a few whiffs of it, let it really sink in, you know, deep breaths, and that's another really easy way. Obviously conserves your essential oil for a very long time as well because you're just smelling it. The other way to do that is to put uh, a couple or, or one drop in the palm of your hands, rub your hands together, and cup your face like that to be able to really get the scent deeply in you. Can you get the top part? Good. And um, so that's another great way. And then what you can do after you've inhaled it is you can then rub it into your shoulders or onto your wrists or you know on the back and lower back, etc. Bottom of your feet, wherever you feel. So that's actually going into the next way to use it is topically. When you put it on your skin, it has a very fast way of getting into your bloodstream. So I always recommend when you're starting to 
start by putting them on the bottom of your foot. That's one of the safest places to use essential oils until you understand how your particular skin or just any of the particular health issues that you may be dealing with react to the essential oils. It's a nice safe place. I love personally um, using uh, thieves that way. Oh, this is tea tree. Um, there it is, thieves. Thieves this way uh, during the winter months. Great warming and uh, soothing scent. I do also diffuse thieves regularly in the winter. It actually kind of smells like Christmas, so that's a great one. Uh, lavender, I find, is is one of the easiest ones to use anywhere on the body. I've used it uh, on Nate in particular. Um, it just recently, even uh, he has a bit of a a cold sore or something on his lip there. And so I, I do dilute it. So that's the other way for, for children to dilute the essential oils using like a coconut oil or um, any kind of vegetable based oil. Uh, and you just kind of a one to one or depending on the strength that you want, one to one ratio. And then it's easier to apply anywhere. And I, you know, even on his face, I'm, I'm putting lavender for any cuts and bruises and things like that, abrasions, um, reactions. Lavender is a great one to go to, but I'm not going to go over each and every oil. I just wanted to give you an idea of what you get when you get the starter kit. You get the references here. It gives you great instructions on what you can do um, with the oils if you're wondering uh, what to use for which one. I also encourage you to um, look at different resource materials in order to educate yourself as to the best ways to use the essential oils safely and, um, you know, most efficiently for, for what you're trying to accomplish with the essential oils. Really, there there's any number of them that would work for many different things and reasons, so um, find what works best for you. And uh, also go out to events. Find events that are sharing essential oils so that you can learn what other people are doing, and uh, it's a fast, easy way of learning. And then, lastly, I do want to just... Um, I think this is the only thing I haven't gone over. Do look at the product guide. Uh, also, online is a great resource. You know, this has uh, here on each different one, it gives you how to use, you know, it gives uh, which essential oils are in it, especially in the blends like these. It has clove, cinnamon bark, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, eucal sorry, eucalyptus. And uh, it says right here how to use, diffuse, or dilute and apply topically. So right there, you've got the instructions on how to safely use uh, each one of the oils in the product guide and these guides. And join the Young Living family online. Oilymasters.com has um, a group online on Facebook and also through the website. If you're ever needing any help, feel free to ask. And I think that's everything. Is that everything, Nate? Nope. Nope. What else did you want to share? I want to what? What do you want to say about essential oils? Do you love essential oils? Yep. What Do you like using them every night? Yep. Where do you put the oils? Uh, upstairs. Yeah, upstairs, but where do you put it? you put it on the back of your neck? Yep. Yeah, and sometimes on the bottom of your feet? Yeah, and do you help Mommy and Daddy to put on the oils too? Yep. Yeah, he's, he's right into it. So, anyway, do you want to say bye to everybody, Nate? Bye. Bye. Thanks so much.